This is Antti from React Studio. In the previous video, we created a login gate uh, with the Xano backend, and in this video, we're going to create a sign up page. So here's the project we already built in the previous video, and now we, we already have the login here. So we want to create a sign up page as well. And for the sign up, we need to add a new login gate here. And let's call this sign up like this. And then uh, add, add a button to the login gate to actually get to the sign up. So let's, uh, I'm not going, going to create a button, I'm going to create a text element and align it uh, to the key line and uh, sign up. No account, sign up here, and then add a go to interaction to this. When user clicks this text, uh, then it, 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 is, it gets the sign up, sign up page. Anyway, let's open the sign up screen or sign up login gate. And for, for here, what we need to do is actually add a Xano sign up uh, plugin. It's an invisible plugin, so you can place it anywhere on the screen. It will not be visible. And then I'm going to add a key line. Just, this is just for alignment. And add a text field. So we're going to create a one field. This is for the, for the name. This is for the uh, email. And this will be for the password. And then we need a button. Let's add a button here. This will be the sign up. Like this. And let's align these. Uh, from the center to key line, so they will be nicely centered on every screen size. And uh, finally, I think we should rename these fields. And this will be the the name field. I will add a placeholder text name. Let's call this field field name. All these names will reflect to the actual code that the React Studio will generate. So it's better to use like proper names, so you 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 can read the code and see what what each field is doing. And this will be the username or email address let's call it email and rename it to field email email like this and this is the password field the type is password and uh, and uh, let's call this field password like this and then we click the, the Xano sign up here, and uh, we need to set the set the, uh, the fields here and uh, the endpoint. The endpoint will be by default it will be a sign up, but if you change it in the Xano end, you will have to change the endpoint here as well. Anyway, the name field will be the field name, email field it will be the field email we just created, and the password password and the the user ID when when you sign up. You also log in at the same time, so we want to save the user ID to the data slot user ID. And finally, for the sign up, we want to add a add a interaction, and uh, it's in element. And then this Xana sign up plugin will offer this sign up interaction here. So now it should have an interaction for the sign up. And finally, what happens after you sign up? We need to do that in the in the uh, in here in the, in this. Uh, screen properties here. So we check login gate settings, web service, and we all, only need to uh, add these three settings here. When unlocked, when the sign up is okay, let's go to start page, which is the main screen here. And if there's an error, we probably want to go to error page. And then we're good to go. We can just run it in the browser. And here's the browser. Uh, no account sign up here. This is the sign up. Let's call Jim Doe. Yeah, Jim. And something here. And now we do the sign up. And here we are. Now we're signed in. And in the back end, we should see a new user appears here. Let's see. And here it is. There's a new user created in the user table. And that's how simple it is. It is to create a create a sign up page with the with the real Xano backend. 
in the next video we're going to create a list we're going to list some data from the from the back end to actual screen so now we covered the login and sign up next will be the showing some data data from the back end thank you